Happy 2016. <laughs> yeah, dude, 2015. That was an interesting one. Yeah, that was um that was probably the hardest and the best year of my life. And going into 2016, I really want peace. I want peace of mind. I want peace within my heart. I want harmony within my relationships. And I want balance within my life. Um, I am gonna start doing Speed Girl episodes again. So look forward for that. It's gonna be fun. Um, you know, I stopped doing it because I just got super busy. And I've been super busy. Um, but 2015 was such an avalanche, man. Like, it was like, Massive heartbreak twice. Um, no money. Uh, Freaking trying to make Speak Real into a business and make money at it. Um, traveling. Uh, health issues. Um, I developed like a real uh, stressful breathing condition. Um, I was ridiculously depressed. And I also found my dream job. Like I'm working for Soul Shop. I facilitate workshops for kids and it's like, ah, oh, I love my job, I love my job. Um, but just going into 2016, it's like I've really accepted that I'm single. Like, like I'm really, really, really accepting that. Um, because so much of 2014 and 2015 was me just like trying, 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 like trying to fit the square peg into the circle, you know, of like trying to make something happen with people who just weren't really down. And I really, I mean, I've been so attached to this concept of a life partner and of a wife. And I'm like, I don't know if that works for me. I don't know if that works. Like, it's really stressful. And it puts a lot of pressure on me, and I feel like it puts a good amount of pressure on the other person too. So I'm, I'm kind of like, is that concept of like having a life partner, partner, or needing a relationship, like, is that still working? Like, does that work? You know? And I don't know. So I'm, I'm just praying on it, meditating on it, trying to figure that out. So it's a lot of figuring it out. But 2016 is exciting. Um, like 2015, the forests were burned and like the ground was charred <laughs> so now the, the seeds and the plants can actually they have like rich dense nutrient rich soil and minerals and now plants and trees and flowers can start to grow so you know this is my foundation year and bring it back speak real there is a a video that i have to do for a friend of mine um that's going to be coming up soon I will make the commitment that I will put it up within January. Um, yeah, it's a significant one of, of my friend who I met in the Tenderloin, his name is Tim, and it's a poem for his late husband. And uh, it's, it's, um, it's an emotional one. So that's, that's gonna be the next episode that you're seeing. Um, <clears throat> June or July of 2016, I intend to go out to Nicaragua and I'd like to go out there for maybe two months one to two months and uh, I mean the reason being my father's Nicaraguan and he immigrated here you know <clears throat> I think late 70s to early 80s right around the time that the revolution was 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 taking place and so it's something that I need to visit and actually I would love to do some farming in the town that he's from um you know there's the wolf uh there's the wolf what's it called i don't know project something where essentially you farm in exchange for staying at a place <clears throat> so i'd love to do that and i'd love to do some speak real episodes out there too and you know just talk to folks interview folks see what speak real looks like in nicaragua or in central america so <laughs> that's like my big scary that's one of my big scary jumps of 2016, getting out to Nicaragua, and then also uh, moving out of my dad's place. Like that's, I've been in my dad's place since August 2014, you know? So I'm coming up on a year and a half, and it's like for a while I was like, okay, I could stay here, but now I'm really recognizing that I do, I need to have my own place, you know? 
So <laughs> that's another thing. So moving out, uh, Nicaragua, speak real, soul shop, which is my job. Um, focusing on my health, really getting my health in order, getting my breathing stabilized, um, meditating a lot more, doing qigong, which is like, I don't know if you know tai chi, um, but it's just like a very slow moving um, meditative exercise that kind of cultivates qi within your body. So it works a lot with like your acupressure points and, and stuff like that, um, just to get your body functioning optimally. Um, and then we'll just see what else. I don't know what romance is gonna look like in 2016. I have no clue. Part of me is like, yes, I want to meet her within this year, and the other part of me is like, man, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens, because I, I recognize, yeah, I'm very insecure. Like I'm extremely insecure. Like you know, and, and I think that's really as a result of just having my heart ripped up, you know, in 2014 and 15. And now I'm, I'm like, okay, here I am again, like trying this dating thing, and it's like. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit so just trying to stay present and grounded throughout all of that um, so yeah so what can you expect for speak real um, you can expect some content I don't want to say how many times a month just yet um, but you can expect some content in 2016 you can expect speak real Nicaragua and I'm gonna be asking for your help with that um, I mean, yeah, I'm getting out there. I'm getting out there. That's my intention. But financially, it would help if you could help. Um, and we'll we'll revisit that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 2016. I think that's it for Speak Real right now. Just episodes in Nicaragua. So everybody, yeah, let me know how are you doing. How? What do you think of the videos? Do you have any questions for me? Is there anything you need from me? Any ideas, any feedback? I'd love to hear it. Um, so yeah, thanks again. 2016. <laughs> and um, I'll be seeing you all soon.